same lineup as uh, Saturday, or are you making any changes? Zaitsev will come back in. Uh, Delzato won't go. Uh, everything else the same. And goaltender of choice tonight? Forsberg will go. Will he play two of the last three? Is it? Uh, yeah, likely. Um, I, I'm going to split the, you know, the last one. So um, hopefully everything goes well. That'll be the case. Matt is out of the picture. Matt Murray is done for the year. Yeah. Um, you know, tried to, you know, we, we thought maybe he could get in at the end, and it's just not going to happen. When you Go talked yesterday about Shane Pinto, you know, and like how long he's been out, Matt Murray's going to be out for a long time coming into next season. Yeah, yeah it's unfortunate. Um, you know, <clears throat> you want uh, obviously to have a healthy team and, and to have, you know, all the options available to you as a coach. Um, a lot of unfortunate things, injuries. Let's just get them all out, I guess, now. Um, you know, and be healthy when the year starts next year. But uh, for him, you know, it's been a few now. Um, you know, it's just unfortunate things happen. Is it different with him just given the fact that he has this veteran experience in the NHL? He knows what it takes to win compared to a guy like Shane Pinto? Well, I think the big thing for Murr is, was his him coming up, getting his confidence back and getting going. And, and, and you know, it gets derailed with another injury. So, um, you know, I think the key was to get him building confidence towards next year. You know, and unfortunately, he's not going to be able to play. Now it's, you know, train in the summer and, and you know, exhibition, and it's, it's not the same, you know. So, but, it, you know, it is what it is. Is it a concussion confirmed? You had concussion issues? I don't think they confirmed uh, that. It's his neck and uh, some upper body stuff that he's just uh, unable to get through. We well, forgot to ask about Matthew Joseph yesterday. Is he, uh, yeah, he's not going to, he won't be back either. Um, he's done for the year. Um, won't be much long after that, um, but the injury, you know, was, was like a two, three week thing that, you know, just doesn't make a lot of sense to rush him in. Yeah, I have. I mean, he. I mean, as good a mood as you could be in, I guess. Um, you know, it, it's hard. Doesn't matter who you are when you don't play and you're around the room. You just don't feel the same. Um, even Thomas Shabbat, as as big of a part of of our team as he is, when he's not playing, you just. You know, you're not in that locker room as much. You're not into the, you know, you're not on the plane, on the road, joking with the guys. It's just, it's a hard thing for them mentally to not be, feel a part of it. You mentioned you didn't love the performance against Montreal despite the win. So what are you looking for uh, different tonight against New Jersey? Well, to be clear, um, what I loved is we scored goals. And there was a lot of nights we played really well. I could think of both times we played Nashville. I thought we all played them immensely, and we couldn't score and we lose the game, where, you know, I didn't think we played great. We played good enough to win. We scored six goals. We just didn't play enough defense, you know, uh, f f you know, for a coach's point of view. But uh, and from a fan's point of view, I was at the uh, – I was at uh, um, the uh, creamery there in, in Carp uh, and uh, with the family, and a guy came up to me and gave me knuckles. What a game, you know, like fans love ten goals, fights. You know, uh, and it's great to hear from the fans, but, you know, as a coach, you know that that's not lasting if you're going to give up that many chances. But to give our guys credit, they've been really good down the stretch. We keep losing bodies, and we keep scratching and clawing and, and to win games, and this will be the same tonight. What would you anticipate from them? Well, they've got – they they can score, like, uh, off the rush skill-wise. I mean, um, you know, their biggest issues, obviously, they've had a lot of issues in net with injuries and, you know, uh, not great goaltending, um, but you know they've got some players that can make plays. I think Brat's been their best player both time we played him. He's he's made all kinds of plays. He's dangerous. He's in on everything. Um, you know, but we just got to do what we do. We, when we play the right way, we can stay in the game with anyone, or we got a chance to win. And obviously, you know, um, we're scoring a little bit more right now, and that's helping us. So let's hope that keeps up for three games. DJ. Uh Brady's one goal away from 30. He's got career highs across the board offensively. Is, is, do you credit that to something he's done specifically this year, or is it simply that like overall the team offensively is just another, it's a different beast this year? I, I credit him getting hot um, with working away from the puck. I think when you see Brady not playing his best hockey, he's not stopping his feed, he's not working as hard coming back, I think – you know, this stretch of time where he scored goals. I mean, he's had the odd off game here and there, but his effort away from the puck has been so much more. And then, therefore, he has the puck more. 
he has the puck more in the neutral zone. He has the puck more on breakouts, and he has the ability to score. And and obviously, he missed training camp. That had a had a huge part of of him not having a, a great start. Big guys need to skate, and they need to skate every day. Um, so, you know, hopefully, he gets his thirty for his personal uh, goals. Um, but I mean, I think Brady can go higher than that. I th- I think uh, forty is not out of the question. Um, you know, you don't you don't want to say fifty and put pressure on a kid, but I, I just think as he gets better away from the puck and as that power play keeps snapping around, you know, you look at a guy like Kreider, you know, and all of a sudden, bang, he scores fifty. So I think Brady's got a lot more in the tank as well. Can you give us your your bottom as uh, role as captain, his leadership and all that? It's not difficult to see what he does on the ice, but in the locker room and around the uh, arena, how you form him and all that. Well, he, he's had ups and downs throughout the year. Um, as you know, he struggles as a young guy when you're losing games because you want to fix it right away, you know. But he is really matured in that category. He really looks after his teammates. Um, his, his demeanor on the bench is is really progressed over the years. Um, his helping of teammates throughout the game um, has gotten a lot better. So he's maturing in front of our eyes, and he'll just continue to be better and better and better at it. He's done a better job too picking his spots. Fighting-wise? Yeah. Well, I don't want him to fight. I mean, there's going to be fights that come about it, but, I mean, we don't want him to fight. I mean, there's going to be times where he's going to have to, but ultimately we need him playing, you know, and he can't just fight anyone that wants to fight. And I think what happened early on um, is he put a couple guys away and, and people realized, well, this isn't just a free fight. This is a this is one of the tougher guys around. Um, and then he hurt his hand and he wasn't able to fight. So I think you've seen more guys kind of pawn at him that no one he can't fight. You know, his last fight he fought with a glove on. You know, I, that's not going to happen in training camp next year or, or when the season starts next year. I don't think you're going to see these guys pushing and, and nudging around him when they know, you know, how tough he really is. But ultimately... We need him to be a power forward, score goals, and if fights happen, they happen. But we're not looking for him to do a whole lot of fighting. Talking about next year, you just mentioned the, the way that these kids have all grown up and you know, gotten better. And next year, there's going to be a little more pressure on this team to make the playoffs because it has to come to that in a certain point. And I'm sure you want to be in the playoffs. A lot of your young guys are tired of losing, and they want to be in the playoffs too. But does this team need to get to the next level? Do you? See any additions that need to be, you know, like spots that you need to fill to fill to make sure that next year you have a better chance at being in it. Uh... Well, clearly, I mean, if you look at the teams, if you just dissect at the end of this year, the teams that make the playoffs, the top eight in the East, top eight in the West, how many goals you need to get in? You know, it looks like it's going to be 260, 265 goals. You're going to have to score to get in. Um, you know, you look at the, the goals against, you look at the goaltending, you look at all these things, and then you have to be realistic as to what your team can do. So, you know, and obviously that's Pierre's job and his role to give me the players. My job is to coach them. So, you know, I think the young kids have come a long way. You know, certainly we traded away pieces here, you know, and, and the guys are going to come back healthy, Joseph and those guys. But, you know, at the end of the day, they have to perform. They got to. Be, we got to be healthy first off. We need. We're going to need really good goaltending. But my biggest thing since I've come here, I, I've never mentioned the playoffs. Everyone playoffs, playoffs. It's about making these kids better. It's about Norris, Batherson, Kachuk, Stutzel, all these young guys, Brandstrom, Shabbat, all these young guys. And then there were some older guys brought in. Connor Brown did a real nice job with with those guys to make these guys get to the point where they're self-sufficient. And I think they're there. I think these guys now are starting to be, you know, in the middle or top half now, you know, where they're going to start not being older, but, you know, we're going to go in and not feel like the kids everywhere. And then I think, you know, with the addition of of some good veterans and some guys, I think we can be competitive every night. But I'm not going to sit here and put a bunch of pressure on these kids. These kids just got to keep getting better. And when they get better, the results will take care of themselves.